Well, gentlemen, we've got a great grassroots story to bring you to today. Now, Bar Calden is 600 kilometres west of Rockhampton. Now, that is a long, long way inland. You can imagine how it'd be, it'd be very, very hot in summer and I'd imagine quite cold during the winter. Their local footy team is the Sand Goannas. Numbers at pre-season were dwindling. Now, that's something, you know, mm. right across the country, struggling for, for participation, particularly in um, very regional areas like Bar Calden. Enter 17-year-old Mannix Hunt, who stuck his hand up and said, old captain coached the side. They had an option. Give the 17-year-old the reins or fold the team. You wouldn't believe it. He got enough players to field a team and they went on and won the grand final at the weekend. And the man himself, captain coach Mannix Hunt, the new Wally Lewis, is with us now. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Have you, have you cut, finished Mad Monday yet? Yeah, I finished up yesterday. <laughs> I heard you, uh, your boss gave you a day off. Yeah, luckily. Yeah, he came and joined the party. <laughs> what was the grand final like? Look at this. Uh, what were the nerves like going into the game? Um, everyone was very nervous. Hey? Uh, first, hasn't been since 2009 since we've been in the grand final. So, yeah, it's been... It's been a long time for the community and everyone was pretty nervous. How far during the year do you have to travel to games? Um, our furthest place we've got to travel is, is a 600k round trip. <laughs> so three hours both ways. Um, yeah, so it's a fair distance. Jeez, that's the one you want to win. Oh. <laughs> the trip home would be torture. There's, uh, there's a lot of talk about in country areas, regional areas, rugby league dying. What more could the NRL do to help out these regional areas? And more, more importantly, help out, say, your club? Oh, uh, send us a few of the Broncos players. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it, it, would it be insurance or stuff like that? Because I imagine a lot, a lot of the guys, are they in mining jobs and stuff? Um, a lot of the fellas work on um, properties out here. Yep. So they, they travel a fair way to try and get the training and get the game. So, um, yeah, it's all a matter of um, giving them a hand and they're getting as many people to train them, I guess. So, Maddox, why does rugby league mean so much to you and the local community? Because that's a big step for a 17-year-old to say, I'll take on the responsibility as captain coach. And I understand your family and your mates all stuck their hands up to help run the canteen, look after the sidelines, etc. Yeah, I've played footy since I was five years old, so I love the game, I um, love everything about it, all the friends, all the mateship you, you learn along the way. And um, small towns like these, they thrive off good footy, so um, the whole community gets involved in it. Um, so if that footy, yeah, a lot of young fellas will be getting up the mischief. And, um, yeah, there wouldn't be that, that mateship among the team. Now, I'm sure you would have been pretty nervous at first, but how did it make you feel? You know, you're captain of the club, you're 17, and your coach, what's it, you know, did it empower you? Did you feel good? Yeah, it felt pretty good, eh? Um, first couple of training sessions and games were pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> but um, the boys all got a lot of respect for me, so, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good feeling. With the success of the first grade team winning, has it inspired the younger players, the kids now, to take up rugby league? Yeah, there's a lot of kids in town that are all congratulating me. They all want autographs and, um, <laughs> yeah, they all, they all want to play for me one day. So, yeah, there's a lot of inspired people out there. Now, what players that play in the A grade, is there any money for players or is everyone playing just for the love? Uh, it's just for the love out here, right? Love of the game. Hey, what you feel like, Mannix? You got much grass on it, mate, or is it is it rock hard and dirt? Oh, there's a fair bit of grass. Yeah. Um, in the summer, they will <laughs> get a bit dry. And how hot know. do you get out there in, in summertime? How hot? Yeah. Oh, 45. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's pretty warm. How many people were you getting to the games? Um... Come the end of the season, we're getting full side of 
20s and 22s, but um, at the start of the season, we were, people were getting around 16, 16 pullets to the game, so yeah. Mm. What, a, what about the crowd? Was it, how big's the town first and how many people were turning up to the home games? Um, I think there's at least 15,000. I'm not 15, but, uh, 1,500. Oh, 15,000. 1,500, jeez. <laughs> 15,000 in town. Um, and probably about 500 or a bit more will turn up to a game of footy. So, oh, wow. so does, um, does the Queensland spirit travel 600 metres out to your place? Kilometres. 600 kilometres. Mm. I can't think it. You know it fires me up, the Queensland spirit, mate. Yeah. Yeah, there's a... A lot of Queensland spirit around these parts of the parts of the world, so um, yeah, there's a lot of spirit here, I guess. Because there's Queensland spirit, he's, he's stuck his hand at the captain, coach the local well, team. Have we, have we got a bucket in here? I've just got yeah. a vomit. Hey, uh, Joey's Joey's just dirty on you because you're drinking Forex. That's the only reason. Ah, so the drink we get anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, mate. We salute you. What a great effort. A great effort. You've kept your, you've kept your local club going and you've won the premiership. <laughs> that is sporting calm if I've ever seen it. Now, if you're ever in Sydney, you've got to sing out to us because we're going to get you to the game. We'll get you up in the commentary box and you can get stuck into Joey in person. Yeah, you might have a mad Monday with Uncle oh, Joey. Oh, it will show you how to really do it. Bring some four X, eh? Yeah, that's it. Uh, no. <clears throat> Bit of Steel City. But it's still city. If you're drinking 4X, there's only 4X there. I'll be the two total. Yeah. Well done, mate. What a great story. Thank you. Good on Thank you, mate. Mannix. Well done, mate. Oh, uh, Mannix, the, the captain coach. What a legend. Of the Bar Calden Sand Goannas. It's awesome, man. You know what? The thing to take out of that is how it made him feel. He stepped up. Yep. You know, he tried hard. He got support. And at the end of the day, he, he had a victory. Could you, you just can't imagine what that, how that feels. Yeah. You, you know, you don't get that sitting at home doing nothing and yeah, you know, you've, got, you've got to put yourself out there, take a risk and he just, you know, he just motivated the whole town. What a what a story. There'd be a few high shots at that in that uh, competition too, I'd reckon. <laughs> <coughs> Wouldn't there what? A few fake teeth walking around. Yeah, you're not kidding. Well done. What a great story. We get a few negative stories in rugby league. That's one of the good ones.